Hey guys, happy holidays. I'm back in Canada. It is freezing here. I'm missing the heat. Things have been so crazy in the last couple of weeks. I didn't get a chance to create any YouTube videos, so I wanted to at least create this one here to do a little bit of a recap on how the 2021 football season has been going on so far uh, with my team Concepcion in Madrid. We're now about halfway through the season in third place and it is currently the winter break which means there's no games until the league starts back up again next month. But let's go back to the summer because we need context before we can move forward. So I was coming off of one full year of not playing because of injuries and then because of the COVID situation and then this opportunity in Spain came up called Showcase Madrid. That whole experience was crazy for many reasons. That then led to a trial opportunity with Rai Vaikano 2, which was crazy for many other reasons. If you don't know what happened during those two crazy experiences, I have a YouTube video on it that you can check out. Those two experiences are very important to understanding why things went uh, the way they did this year. So anyways, Rai Vaikano 2 trial doesn't work out. Leagues are starting in a week. Most clubs have their teams full and I don't have anything. So another couple crazy days go by and then somehow I managed to sign with a sixth division club in Spain called Concepcion. Last minute signing. At that point I was excited to have found a club that plays in an official league in Spain. But big problem, I found out I don't have a player license which means I couldn't play in any of the league games. A couple more weeks go by, I missed the first couple games of the season. I'm just training with the team at that point and I'm doing well in trainings but when you're not eligible to play, obviously the focus goes on the players that can play. And when that goes on for weeks and weeks, uh, you start to lose that connection to the core of the team. And that's what I felt like happened. Those weeks were difficult mentally. Honestly, all the weeks were difficult mentally, but after those weeks passed, I finally got my player license and was eligible to play in league games. So now I can play, but obviously when a team has a system in place, they've worked on certain tactics with specific players for weeks, that's gonna be their go-to game plan. So that weekend I get brought on for the last 10-15 minutes and actually almost score the game winning goal, but we end up tying the game. And then the next four or so weeks, uh, I keep coming on as a sub and uh, just do the best I can with the minutes I got. At this point in the season, I feel like I'm really improving every single week. And also my performances in training are really good as well in comparison to other players in my position. Mentally, I'm staying positive, still giving 100%. Another two or so weeks go by and then finally I get to start against a really good team in the league. I played an okay game, I felt like the chemistry was lacking at times, but we still came away with the win and we got three big points. So now I'm like, I finally get the chance to start showing more of what I can do. Build up the confidence and build up the chemistry with the teammates. However, the next weekend I didn't get to play and that was definitely frustrating and confusing. I felt like I deserve more of a chance and I said this before in a TikTok, if a player is performing better than another player, and then I'm totally cool with that uh, because then you know what to do. You just, you train harder, you, you have to perform better. And when you perform better, you get to play. But when that's not the case, that's when the confusion and the frustration comes in because you're not exactly sure what else uh, you can do or what more you can do. The next weekend we had a bye week, which means no game. And that's when I went to Abu Dhabi for VidCon as an invited guest and also got a last minute trial with a club in Dubai which went well. I then came back to Madrid. We had another game against last place in the league. Again, I came on for the last 10 minutes. And yeah, around that time, I was thinking about everything that is going on. And so I had a discussion with my coach because obviously I wanted to uh, run the Dubai opportunity by him and, and see what he thought. So our conversation was really interesting. He actually recommended that I give the Dubai opportunity a chance because I'm still young and that it could lead to a potentially great path. So we discussed that uh, a bit and then also he brought up a couple times how I deserve to be playing more and how I'm very professional with the way I show up and the work that I put in and so it was, it was just a really interesting conversation and it got me thinking um, even more about what to do next. And that's where I'm at right now in the winter break, reflecting on what the next move should be. I have the option to go back to Madrid and continue playing there, or I have these other opportunities that opened up. That next move with football is gonna be another video, but in this video, I just want to give a little recap on how things 
I went with football because I wanted to produce a lot more YouTube videos over the last couple months, but things just got really hectic and I never got the chance. So I'm gonna take a couple more days to reflect on what I want to do for the start of 2022, and then we're gonna continue the journey. Thank you for watching. A lot more videos coming out this new year, so stay tuned for that, and let's make 2022 the year it happens. Uh -huh.